Good. If there are any questions or any curiosity, uh, I will try to answer. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Charles Deckert, uh, International Relations here at Catholic University. The, uh, uh, much of my professional life has been uh, dedicated to international exchanges at the university level. I was very pleased on arrival this morning to learn that uh, we have uh, representatives of the Polish University uh, system with us today. Uh, what concretely is being done uh, within the broad church, Catholic church community particularly, to facilitate uh, international student exchanges, recognition of credits, academic programs, professional degrees, including clinical uh, experience as part of the uh, 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 intellectual development, and to facilitate the recognition and provision of uh, facilitating the uh, uh, provision of visas, uh, assistance, uh, particularly to uh, competent students and academics uh, uh, in their international work. Uh, we have this problem, for example, of the high tuition levels in uh, Western Europe and particularly in the United States. The, uh, so that specifically, concretely, what uh, progress do you see and what institutional structures do you see emerging to facilitate these exchanges? Well, also first... Now, also now. First of all, I, I, I'm not very competent on this technical aspect of, of facilitating the movement of academic personnel. That is a process, I think, that goes more into the area <coughs> of agreement between countries on mutual recognition of visas or uh, acceptance of people. But uh, I think that uh, UNESCO has been working to facilitate the circulation of knowledge through the circulation of, of uh, academic people. This is uh, something that needs to grow, but I think it's very complicated because on one side, there are people in fear of brain drain for poor countries, that people that are, who are prepared and qualified in Africa. There are more doctors from Mali in the United States than in Mali. Eh? So that there is this preoccupation that is a, a, an immediate practical concern. And then the, the movement of students, I think, uh, in U Europe has made some progress through the Erasmus program and some other programs within the European Union, the 27 countries of the European Union, that becomes very easy now and very acceptable. Outside the European Union, say between the European Union and the United States, or between Africa and the United States, or Africa and the European Union, that's another very difficult issue because we have some cases of young, bright students going and never coming back to Africa, for example. Once they are settled outside, they don't come back and therefore they don't contribute anything to the development of their own country. These young countries need to prepare people to build up their structures and, and to improve their situation. So I, I don't know the technical aspect, but I think there are some major concerns that are still being debated. But UNESCO will be the, the way and the area where some of these problems are going to be faced even through inter international agreements. What about the, the Catholic community itself? Uh, are initiatives being taken? 
I confess my ignorance even here. I have been arguing in Rome in one of the meetings I went uh, for uh, uh, the Secretariat of State about uh, not even a month ago, that we have a major resource which is the presence in the world of a network of Catholic universities. Different levels of quality, I guess. But anyway, it's a huge, huge resource. We are not able yet, that was my complaint, huh? <laughs> to muster this enormous resource as a possible resource even, for example, for people like me who have to be expert on 10,000 things at the same time, which is obviously physically impossible. Nobody can. But to have input from, for research, for reflection, for analysis on the part of the Catholic universities so that we can speak with competence and credibility on issues that are very difficult and very complex. So that's, I agree that we have to be a more creative in the use of an enormous resource that at this point seems to be closing on itself to a degree. And we have to make it branch out and to open up, not because of the academic, Catholic academic institutions fault, but to, to link up with other form of activity, especially the presence of the Catholic community, the Christian community, in the international arena. Yes.